Good evening everybody, Lee Ainsworth, Head of Advantage Holidays here to bring you today's update. I hope that you've all been keeping safe and well. Um, we've all seen a pretty seismic shift to our own personal um, lives as well as business in terms of everybody now working from home. Um, and also we know that it's been tough in terms of having to make some difficult decisions all across the industry, um, to which obviously we're not immune either. Um, it's on that point that I kind of wanted to note that we've been reviewing our business to make sure that when the customer demand does bounce back, we've never been in a better position um, to be able to, to continue to support our members with at All Protected dynamically packaged holidays from um, Advantage Travel Partnership. That brings me on to our first update of the day from Advantage Holidays, which is around our call centre team. We've had to take appropriate action within our own business in order to manage the cost base of Advantage Holidays. And part of that has been um, to reduce down temporarily our call centre team um, by eight members of staff. Now, obviously that wasn't an easy decision to make and it is one that we will continually review on an ongoing basis as and when um, the, the situation continues to update itself. In the meantime, we have ensured that we're still here to give you the best support possible. And in order to do that, we have brought um, all of those key functions and that workload from the call centre team back into the central business, where a team of five will continue to manage um, ongoing credit notes, um, supporting you obviously with any new business that does come through, um, as well as any administration or the change of dates. More information of that is available on who those key members of the team are um, within the email. Um, so do check that out. Um, they're probably faces that you already know. As I mentioned, this is a temporary um, measure that we've done in order to manage the cost base um, and it will be reviewed. We understand from member feedback that some customers are a little bit anxious about paying for their holiday at the moment, especially when it comes to travel um, in June and July. They obviously want to follow the latest coronavirus information as well as the travel restrictions um, and that's completely understandable. It's with that in mind that we've made the decision to move our balance collection date to 28 days prior to departure on all bookings due to travel up until the 31st of July. We hope that this instills more confidence and allows more time um, for the customer to feel comfortable with uh, the situation about their travel. Um, and obviously it's something that we'll continue to um, monitor and extend as and where necessary um, should the travel advice need us to do so. So when it comes to our current uh, force majeure, um, that is in place up until the 15th of April. All bookings have been cancelled um, and credit notes now um, starting to be issued for those bookings. Obviously, as the travel restrictions um, are extended or as businesses are continually updating their policies, then we'll bring you more information on when that date um, obviously gets taken further out until. Our first priority in any instance is to deal with bookings that are due to depart within 72 hours um, and then obviously everything out from that point. Um, that's the way that we will continue to work um, and we're confident that we've still got the team in place and that'll be able to get through that as efficiently as possible um, and get credit notes um, out to you as soon as possible for your customer. When it comes to credit notes, um, we're currently 35% of the way uh, through issuing credit notes for booking studio travel up until the 15th of April. We intend on having all of those completed by the end of this week. When it comes to the lobbying that has taken place um, that you'll have probably heard of throughout the trade press um, over the past week or so by APTA, by the CAA and other governing bodies, um, we're continuing to monitor that situation but we are working within APTA um, guidelines on uh, the guidance that they issued in a note out to uh, APTA members um, just a little over a week ago now and we are working to that. Our full policy is available within the email uh, for members um, as well as on our website so you can get the latest information from there. The reason why we are issuing credit notes is because like every business, everybody is trying to hold on to cash. So where we have managed to um, secure a refund from our suppliers, the airlines and accommodation, um, then we are passing that back to you as a refund to the customer. 
outside of that where we aren't being issued with the refunds ourselves understandably um, I'm sure that you'll agree we aren't in a position um, to be able to continue to refund that money until obviously the the chain opens up so that's kind of where we are at at the moment when it comes to customers, we um, have obviously experienced some issues um, around where customers are insisting on that full refund. Um, our policy is as it stands at the moment, but we are continuing to review it and we are obviously working to get that money back for the customers. The best thing that we haven't reduced, which we now start to see a good uptake on, is customers willing to move their dates to a winter season, which ours is now on sale right the way through until the end of February next year. Um, we highly recommend that. We are doing everything that we can to ensure that the customer's money remains protected. Um, so that's why we're working within the guidelines and we're helping you wherever possible to move dates further out. At the end of the day, everybody's going to want a holiday um, when everything is over. We know that that pent up demand is now starting to build. We've been hearing it from new um, members. Um, and with that in mind, the credit note is really the best option for everybody involved in the chain. So planning for the bounce back. Obviously, we all know that the pent up demand is building um, with customers at the moment. A lot of the marketing has been around obviously continuing to, to keep that engagement with uh, customers, but not necessarily the book just yet. Well, I've seen an interesting little trend that has started. Um, we are starting to see bookings now come through for winter 2020 into 2021. Um, bit of a tongue twister to try and get that one in there, but um, so yeah, we are starting to see the winter business come through, which is encouraging. It just goes to show um, that customers are obviously still thinking ahead uh, for travel, although at the moment um, that might be relatively uh, low numbers for everybody. The pricing has been absolutely incredible. So when it comes to the winter break pricing, which I suspect will continue into 2021, um, the prices to be had at the moment are uh, absolutely fantastic. We are still continuing to send out, so that you are aware of what's going on in the market, um, weekly offers so that you can see um, what we're managing to find and what we're managing to spot. Now, it may not be the time for the customer to confirm the holiday, but at least you still keep them informed as to what's available. So I think that from our point of view um, is the reason why you're continuing to see those, those offers out there. I think this is also a really good opportunity for everybody to re-familiarise themselves in our system, obviously once the admin work is over. Um, being able to prepare yourself with any operator's system um, is just going to mean that you're that little bit faster um, potentially than uh, a competitor um, at finding the best holiday deal for the customer. Um, so maybe not for right now, but something I think of for the future. We are your tour operator. Advantage Holidays was created exclusively for Advantage members and that was done with one key thing in mind. How can we help our members reduce risk and liability within their business? We've been doing that for four years now. We've seen some great successes. And within that, we've been offering 24-hour um, support direct to customers so that when instances such as natural disaster, ash clouds, coronavirus, when this hits us, we're here in your corner, helping to support you. Um, and that's still true of what we're going to be offering in the future. We underpin our proposition with our low deposits, our access to hundreds of thousands of accommodation options, as well as low cost flying um, and schedule flying from across the UK and Ireland. Most recently, we've started to include attraction tickets into our online selling platform. That is going to prove particularly um, useful in the future when attraction tickets are sold as part of a package holiday. We have had instances where they weren't and when the travel restrictions first started to come around because the information um, was being followed as per FCO advice, um, that meant that sometimes different suppliers were working in different strands and different streams. And therefore it's not a cohesive approach from the customer perspective. So moving forward, I think it's just about looking at where you place the risk and where you place the business to make sure that obviously you're maximising every opportunity of a sale, as well as um, obviously trying to reduce the risk um, from within your business. 
the key takeaway points from my uh, video update today, which I hope you've uh, found useful in understanding um, what's going on in the Advantage Holidays world, um, from obviously that two operating point of view, is to look at the advice um, and support and back obviously governing bodies when they're lobbying um, around credit notes. So just make sure that you're up to date with that. Obviously the more understanding um, means that obviously you can better um, portray that to the customer. The second one is obviously we need to be mindful of preparing for when that bounce back happens. And I think the third one out of the back of number two is more around just assessing and making sure that you're working with partners who are in it for the long term with you. I think that's it from me today. Um, thank you very much for listening and stay safe.